Let's open up and tour the all new 2022 Grand Design Solitude 380FL-R. Hello and good afternoon everybody. This is Chris with Great Escapes RV Supercenter and it is my pleasure to show off this beautiful fifth wheel with you guys today. We're gonna walk around the outside, show you guys some of the features on it with it all closed up, but then we're gonna get onto the roof, do the same thing. Then we're gonna go inside with the RV all closed up, show you how practical would it be to be parked on the side of the road. Maybe you had to catch some Z's, use the restroom, maybe cook a meal. How easily accessible is this RV? Then we're gonna take, open it all up and give you a final look at this beautiful luxury fifth wheel. Thank you so much for joining us today. Let's rock and roll. Fully molded fiberglass front cap on here. This is a very nice updated exterior look for the 2022. I love it. It's just really, really sweet. You've got an automotive grade front windshield. You've got LED running lights on the front as well. You can imagine what that looks like at night. Your truck is going to love this upgraded Moride rubber pin box on here. This helps so much with road chucking. You've got a good amount of storage here in the front. Also the ability, if you did want to, you could add in a generator. We do sell and install those as well as do the pre-wire. You also have a section right here, which we include a battery upon your purchase. This is the ventilation system for it. This is also the button for your cap lights, which we'll go ahead and turn that on, let you guys see that. I need to do a video of this over uh, around nighttime, let you guys see what this looks like. This is pretty sweet. You have a uh, aluminum substructure, heated and enclosed True Four Seasons camper, fiberglass sidewalls. You've got frameless glass windows. This is a drop frame on here as well. Six point hydraulic auto level. You've got a section right here with a 30 pound propane tank. There is two, one on each side, which we fill upon your purchase. As far as the pass-through storage, it's a little narrow, but you do have pass-through storage in here. Um, you've got a battery disconnect. You've got a pre-wire set up for your uh, tire pressure monitoring sensors. This is the accessories um, for your RoadVac by InterVac Systems um, vacuuming for outside and inside. You also have a convenient little spray shower right here to be able to spray, rinse off your kids, rinse off the dogs. You've got a manual override right here as well. Um, on, off, and motion sensing LED lights, 110 power. Very awesome. On the inch and a quarter thick slam latch baggage doors. Sweet. This is your spray port right here when I was showing you that little sprayer. Be able to rinse the kids off, dogs off, maybe your upgraded zero gravity entry steps. Very nice. You can see those LED running lights as well on the bottom. This is the ST380FL-R. The FL is uh, for front living and the dash R is a residential style 18 cubic foot refrigerator. And then you have the Arctic uh, WeatherTech um, Four Seasons protection as well. Key to like locks, that's a great feature to have. You've got dual awnings on here, one on the front and of course one on the back. It is a uh, 14 foot five on the back and a 15 foot five on the front. It's very nice. This is a great upgrade right here. Cooper H-rated tires, 17.5 aluminum rims, nitrogen fill on there. Of course, you're pre-wired with the tire pressure monitoring sensor. Correction, it is equipped with. Sometimes it says pre-wired. So you do have the tire pressure monitoring sensor, which is a sweet setup. Cree 3000 suspension system and the Dexter axles. Oh, yeah! This is a good RV to take across the country. Very cool. Coming back here, you got a 110 power source. Hook up to all kinds of cool stuff there. You've got a Rockford Fosgate marine grade sound system mounted outside as well. Tons of rear pass-through storage. Guys, look at that. Holy moly. There's so much in here on the slam latch baggage doors. Just a sweet setup as a whole. Coming back here, you're gonna see more pass-through storage. That is really sweet. And then back here, talk about a really cool setup on the rear garage, 600 pound capacity. This thing is really sweet. Simply press this button, lifts up. This cart will roll all the way out, give you that ability to be able to put in all your toys and everything, easily accessible. Simply push that all back in and it'll lock it into place. Very cool. You also have a two inch receiver back here as well with the four way plug. You guys can hook you up like a little luggage rack, maybe even a small trailer, something like that. LED running lights. You've got LED lights on the top, bottom and on the sides. You've got a pre-wire for the Furion backup camera and an access ladder to gain access to your fully walkable roof. I have to admit, 
it's a little bit high right there. You almost need a step um, ladder to get up there, but I'm a ninja and I have one hand on the uh, camera and one hand holding the ladder. And then I'm gonna go ahead and jump up to the top and show you guys the top of this without falling, hopefully. <laughs> so beautiful setup, guys. You got a WineGuard Air 360 omnidirectional antenna. You do have a pre-wire setup you can see right there for some solar panels if you wanted to add that. Max air vent fan upgrade on the left side with the rain sensor. That's sweet. And you have not one, not two, but three Coleman Mach AC 15K units. Those are awesome. Um, you got your Air 360 siphoning vets, um, an additional little ventilation system back here, and the skylight. All right, now, let's see. Whew. Okay, I didn't die. <laughs> I probably still would have posted it. All right. Coming around here, opposite side of your pass-through storage, as you can see. Really nice. Additional pass-through storage on here on the opposite side. Your dumping valves for your double gray and your double black tanks. You also have a nice little easy reel power cord reel on here. This comes in extremely handy to be able to roll up that heavy 50 amp cable. On the strut assisted slam latch baggage doors, there's your dumping center right there. Opposite side of your tires, you've got a uh, this uh, tank flush right here for your black. And then you've got three slides on this side, two slides on the other. 35,000 BTU furnace, 12 gallon hot water heater. And then your convenience center, this is your auto lever for your six point auto leveling. And then your convenience center. Everything's insulated, for one, so when you close the doors, those are all closed off, which is pretty sweet. But everything's all easily labeled and properly located as far as dry camping, city water connection, winterization, sanitizing, um, tank flushing. Um, you got a little convenient little LED light here as well. I love that Grand Design does this. So they put a little 110 power port right here. Um, you can run your hose up to your city water and if it's freezing temperatures outside, you still have the plug to be able to put a heated hose to prevent your hose from freezing. Um, low point water drains, onboard a uh, whole house water filtration system, and then of course your ice maker shut off on your 18 cubic foot residential style refrigerator upgrade. So cool, and you have cable TV and satellite uh, plugins on magnetic catch slam latch baggage doors sweet all right opposite side of your 30 pound propane tank here's also your regulator let's go inside and open up this beautiful rv can't get over it so i have to admit to you guys this unit just came from grand design and other than a final pdi and maybe a small detail here and there these units pretty much come lot ready. So hats off to Grand Design for their additional PDI process and putting out such an excellent, well-insulated and well-built RV. Very cool. Okay, it's a hot day today, guys. It really is. So we simply open this up, pull this, Keto-like locks. It's a great upgrade to have. They used to have a little plastic catch on here, which could be frustrating, and sometimes you would forget about it and it could tear it off. Now it's just the magnetic. I like that a lot. More ride entry step upgrade. This is phenomenal. The best part about it is it's the zero gravity. So simply take this thing, pull it down. It's not gonna fall on you. It holds into place. Look at that. You can pretty much lift it with a pinky. So once you get to the location, of course you're gonna set your feet correctly and adjust those so that your sill plate matches up correctly. So you'll be able to open and close your door without it interfering with the door which is pretty good and we go into here now all right so looking up front pretty much for the most part there's enough room to kind of move around in here you can maybe sleep somebody you know lounge out on the couch um, but you of course you don't have much access for the front as far as the rear goes it's pretty much inaccessible without having to open up at least one of the slides very cool. So, and then of course back there. However, this is a hydraulic slide system. And so, um, actually, you know what? We gotta do that too. So this is a hydraulic slide system. This uh, hydraulic slide system actually ties in with a battery. So the fact that this just came from Grand Design, it doesn't have a battery installed. And so what I have to do is I have to back up 
and my buggy, which has onboard battery system, up to it to plug it in so when we open the slides, the, um, the hydraulic slide for the kitchen will, will open up as well. So bear with me. And back up. All right. Turn that off. Take this plug. Plug it into mine. Give me just a second. I'm trying to use one hand. It's not working out too well. I appreciate y'all's patience. This is part of the process. This is what at least you have to have in your RV in order to get it. Okay, so we're plugged in now. So now we'll be able to easy, uh, easier uh, access and be able to operate the hydraulic slides. So now we go into here. All right. Now I like that Grand Design does this. One, you've got a really nice lipper components control panel, which you guys can operate everything from the convenience of here, or if you're not into the big touch screen portion of it, they still have a lot of the features you can access right here. So slide one in and out. So this is actually your hydraulic slide. We'll go ahead and press out. You're gonna see that this slide first will open up with the dinette side first. So you'll see that sliding out. And once it gets to its fullest extent, it's actually gonna stop. And then you will see right here, the kitchen slide with the refrigerator and your stove come out as well it goes pretty quick I'd have to say I mean there's a mere seconds to open this up so if you guys did need to be doing something on the side of the road um, to gain access to the back you could open this first one shimmy across the bat uh, the, the bed and still be able to get into the rear bathroom to use the, the toilet which is nice next is slide two in and out we're gonna press out this is your left side Schwintech slide system Now, once this gets to its fullest extent, you're gonna hear the motor kind of wind down. That lets you know it's at its fullest extent, and that's when you need to let off of the, uh, the button. Let's see if we can hear it. All right, or just like that. Slide three, like that. Open all this up. I've included a really nice uh, 360 tour through this RV, so if at any point you guys want to be able to digitally walk around through this unit and uh, you know open up some of the cabinets, some of the, uh, the the beds and stuff, things like that, you guys could be able to do that. Um, our next and not our last slide is going to be slide four right here, which we're going to go ahead and press out, and then that is actually the bed slide, which will go back out there as well. And then what I'm going to do like that. Cool. So that's the same thing, Schwintech slide system, just like so. And now that's out. All right. And as far as the rest of this goes, of course, checking your battery level, fresh water, black water one, black water two, gray one and gray two, water heater, whether you're, whether you're running off of gas or electric, water pump, if you guys need to, um, you know, uh, carry water with you. Um, fresh water tank heater, gray and black water tank heater, 12 volt heating system, help prevent your tanks from freezing. Porch light, awning light, um, driver's uh, door side flood. And then of course your rear awning extension retraction and your front awning extension retraction. Very cool. I like this too. They've included some of these cool little lift here areas. You simply open this up. You've got additional storage features, very nice. And like I said just a second ago, you can do all of that from here or the convenience of right there or download the the application on your phone to be able to do that as well. Looking down here, this is that opposite side of the road vac by Intervac vacuuming system, which is pretty sweet. Simply sweep all your debris up to here, pick it up, the rest of it's all history. I love that Grand Design's constantly taking the little voids and nooks and crannies and being able to take those and add additional storage features. You could put some shoes in there, some additional little things, very nice. Coming up into here, beautiful. Man, you can imagine having a nice movie night in here. This is just really sweet. In that 360 tour, I actually raise and lower the TV as well as open and close the beds, um, the couches into beds to give you guys an outlook of what it looks like. Very nice. Okay, so you guys can be able to turn this into a bed. You also have the TCL flat screen TV with the Roku setting. So your Netflix, Hulu, Prime, all that stuff is pretty sweet. You also have an upgraded Rockford Fosgate sound system. Very nice. Plenty of storage. You've got a 5,000 BTU fireplace. This is phenomenal. I love it. You guys can be able to change the different flame settings. You guys can be able to 
um, turn off the, the heat setting as well and just have the light. So if you guys maybe want to set the mood, you guys can do that. Hardwood cabinetry, hidden hinges, upgraded steel ball bearing drawer glides. This thing is just a good build. You've got privacy blackout curtains as well. Of course, all of your um, tint is at a 20% level. Of course, this RV is going to have carbon monoxide, smoke detector, fire extinguisher, emergency exits, all the standard safety features an RV should have. But you can't beat this Thomas Paine collection theater style um, seating. It's got power open, power close. It's got a built-in convenience light so you're not stubbing your toe at night. Built-in heat, built-in massage with variable speed settings and a USB charging center. That is sweet. I like that quite a bit. I also like too right here, you guys can take this uh, curtain right here and close it off to have a different additional privacy, additional storage and stuff right here. Beautiful RV. Coming down here into the kitchen area. Of course, this is uh, all for additional countertop prep space. You have plenty of cabinets and drawer space throughout, just tons and tons of it. 18 cubic foot Samsung residential refrigerator. This is the locking mechanism, so when you're in transport, it helps prevent the, the doors from just flying open on you. We take and open this up. Look at that, twin cooling plus. Just beautiful, built-in inverter. You guys can run down the road, keep this puppy running. It's got an ice maker as well. Very awesome. Sweet. I love it. It's ice cold too. It's only been plugged in about 20 minutes. I feel very comfortable with putting perishable items in there. Insignia residential four burner stove top with a 3.7 cubic foot oven. This thing's massive. You can fit a whole turkey in there. I mean, that is sweet. Oven light, just like so. Insignia convection microwave. I love that. Very cool. Additional storage. And this actually is real tile black backsplash. That's very nice. And then of course, I love an RV that's got a good amount of pantry space, adjustable shelves that aren't secured in. You got plenty of drawers as well. And it's got an LED backlight in there as well. So you'll be able to see what you're getting. I love it. You got friends and family over, don't want them using the bathroom. You got a nice half bath in here, porcelain toilet. Very nice little medicine cabinet and vanity. Very awesome. And you got another little max air vent fan up there with the built-in rain sensor. That is sweet. You've got a table and chair set up right here with an additional leaf extension to be able to entertain more friends and family. Of course, this is a really, really sweet setup, guys. This is cool. I can't say this enough. I really like doing these tours on these RVs. This is just really awesome. Um, additional storage in here, enough room to be able to put you some clothes as well. Coming up into here, and I like this. This is a nice um, king size bed upgrade. Got plenty of room to be able to uh, you know, sleep and move around. That's pretty sweet. Lift this up. You've got additional storage below. There's your setup for your uh, tire pressure monitoring sensors, your manuals and for everything on the RV. And what a sweet upgrade. Take, pull this out, put your shoes on in the morning. You'll be able to lift this up, be able to put all your other goods and knickknacks and things in there. Very awesome. On the strut assisted bed lift. Very cool. Simply lift right here. You guys will see additional storage in here, more drawers, more cabinet space. Really awesome. Another uh, flat screen TV. Very awesome. And then coming up into here, into the bathroom, just so phenomenal. This is so nice. Of course, you've got a his and hers sink. You've got a nice large mirror. You've got this updated shower sprayer. This thing is so cool. One piece residential sh style shower insert which is really cool, so you don't have to worry about any kind of leaks or anything, but it's got a big enough section in the bottom where you could technically, you know, wash a small kid, maybe wash the dog off, put a little plug right there, and it'd be kind of like a mini toilet, or a mini tub. I get so rambling sometimes, I start to get tongue-tied on my words, so I appreciate y'all's support. Um, you got a teak seat, shower seat, that's really nice, and then of course this updated shower sprayer. This thing is just phenomenal. I was just talking to somebody, I need to hook up a hose to this, and show it actually running, because I have actually yet to see this running, um, which I bet it is pretty sweet. Very, very cool. Um, and then right here, you've got washer dryer prep. Very cool. So we will actually install, um, sell and install um, washer dryers as well if you guys need to, uh, to do that. Of course, additional storage back here. You've got another porcelain toilet. I like that quite a bit. What a beautiful RV. 
Wow. So ladies and gents, this is just a brief introduction to this RV. There's still so much that goes into it. That's one of the reasons why I stress the fact that, you know, we do an RV training class for all new and used purchases. We'll give you guys a free campground actually. So when the day comes for you to pick up your RV, it's all parked at the top of the campground. Give you the chance to work out the kinks, press the buttons, turn the knobs. If you guys have issues or questions, you wake up the next morning, you're still here. That's one of the great value added that we include with all of our RV purchases. Of course, no documentation or prep fees, less your tax title and licensing. And we take it to the max. You're gonna buy a new RV, you're gonna need an RV starter kit. You're gonna need your hoses and all that stuff to be able to head straight to the campground. So we supply a basic kit for you to have all the essentials to head straight to the campground. What a cool RV, guys. Next but not least, let's open up these awnings and then we will wrap it up. So, awning extension and retraction. Let's go ahead and first, let me open this door all the way, let the magnetic catch, grab it, and then put extend, like so. So, awning one extension is going to be this nice, large 15.5 awning. Now, when this awning gets to its fullest extension, you're going to see a little flap that folds down um, that is the indicator to let you know that that's at its fullest extension right there. If you were to continue to roll that, it would actually roll up reverse on itself and you could potentially damage the awning. So definitely don't want to do that. But I like that they have the updated awning light because if you think about it at night, you're entertaining the friends and family. Maybe you need to adjust the pitch of the lighting. You guys can do that. So it can basically uh, better illuminate um, the area that you're working on or wherever you're entertaining. Uh, next but not least, I had my photographer in here doing the inside photos of this, so he closed off all the windows. But let's go ahead and open up the rear awning, extend, which you will kind of see right there. There it goes. And then the same thing, you're going to get to its fullest extension, and then that little flap will come down and let you know that you need to stop. And we're going to go ahead and watch it. Where is it at? There she is. All right, so and boom we're at our fullest extension now look at all of this plenty of shade for the friends and family wow look at that so sweet give you guys the final overlook of this beautiful rv ladies and gents thank you so much for your time and the opportunity to do business together if you guys have questions please leave them in the comment section below we appreciate your so support Please like, subscribe, comment, and share. We hope to see you soon. Happy camping.